Try not pet my mom and dad's now. Um, <laughs> um, cause I didn't film anything yesterday because I just was really tired and just didn't feel like doing much. I did manage to water the plants though. But coming here this morning, my brakes kind of just gave away, which is kind of scary. Luckily, I was able to brake before just hitting, just before, just like, you know, just before and like a car. Like there was a car here and my brakes go because there was like a build up and I didn't really see the build up until last minute. So I put my brakes down, but it something like broke. I heard a click and then my brake didn't really work. So I had to put my for all the way to the ground. Luckily, I stopped just before hitting a car. So luckily I did not hit a car, but I had to, you know, pull over, put my hazards on and drive like really slow. Luckily I was close to my parents' house, so I was just drive really slow. I did get beeped at, but I had my hazards on, but luckily I'm safe and everyone's fine. Lucky it didn't happen when I was doing 80. So thank God. <laughs> So yeah, I, thank you so much Universe, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm good, but it does mean that my car, I have a problem with my car now, that, so I have to go to mechanic, and tomorrow um, is Monday, so I might not be able to go to work Monday, I will have to see how this week goes with the car, because it might not even be done until Friday, so I might not have a car for all this week, so yeah, that was a bit scary. But I came here because my Nana's birthday and I normally come to mum and dad's first and then I go with them because it's just easier and saves on petrol. But yeah, so I guess I will be staying here overnight and for however long the car takes in the um, mechanics. So yeah, that's great. I kind of had a feeling something would happen. So yeah, luckily it happened now and not, you know, when I was, you know, doing 80 or 100 because that would have been dangerous very dangerous very dangerous driving without brakes so luckily i got here safe and yeah so it's just more of like inconvenience really but i'm trying not to think about it too much because i know if i think about it too much it's get sad so yeah it'll be fine it'll work itself out we'll work ourselves out if i have to take a week off work again i'll take a week off work again <laughs> but yeah so yeah, that's been my weekend. Um, yeah, I didn't do much yesterday, I just watered the plants. Luckily I watered the plants yesterday because I wouldn't have been able to do it tonight. <laughs> but yeah, I just needed to clean and you know do my normal cooking, but that's not gonna happen tonight either because I'm staying here. But I did ha uh, help my sister and my mum cook um, um, tea for tonight. So yes, yeah, so if she needs me help, to help with things around here i'll be happy to help with things around here thank you mom for letting me stay yeah and and it's annoying because also my my work area doesn't have public transport so i can't go to work unless i take a uber or tra a taxi but that'd be you know probably more expensive so yeah i'm pretty sure i still have annual leave so yeah i just took a week off came back to work and probably i have to take a week off again but yeah, so that's been my weekend. I can see that. Just a nice barbecue. There are three of them. Oh no, you can cook here. You can cook here and you can look out to the river over there. Oh, they look after the barbecue. Still look at that. We get clean now. Hello, duck. <laughs> we don't have any food for you, sorry. Where's the other one gone? Oh, that's nice. Sun finally out. It should not slip on the... Hey, look, it looks like a little island there <laughs> that you see in the movies. Oh, yeah. I'm going on the rock anyway. Oh, that looks good. Hey. 
Hey, can you go over there? Let's say you can go over there. Oh, yeah, the bridge. Bridge over there. Yeah. Oh, you can hear my poncho. Yeah, that's the now. I love the stabilization of this camera though, because I'm walking. And it stabilizes, which is awesome because on my other camera it wasn't. But it's nice. Nice. It was raining before, so that's why I couldn't film much. But ah, now we're on a, doing a little hike around this little pond. Yeah, and I can see the hills maybe from over there. Yeah. Around. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Where's mum? Oh, she's not. She's still around the bend. She's taking a photo. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I lost it. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Oh, yeah, I don't know if we can see them. Emus. It was so close to the road before. Oh, the other one's walking really fast. I don't know if I captured it on camera though. Got it? Yeah. They did it? Oh, wow. that's good exercise too. It is, but it's just uh, cheated, but I didn't really because oh. I didn't do hardly any of them. Because I couldn't do them all. Oh, can you I fit under there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and look, this one. <laughs> oh, no. Ah! Oh, just. I'm trying. Uh oh, this one's t this one's tiny. Yeah, I can't do that one. <laughs> that one's tiny. I touched it, but I didn't bump my head on it. <laughs> no, I know. This is nice. Yeah, I like these little logs that they made. Oh, so cool. Like as seats. Yeah, they actually carved out the seats. <laughs> and I love the natural rocks right here. And sit on the seat. Yeah. Oh. oh, this one feels a bit weird. <laughs> oh. I don't know, I just sat down. I think I think it's a zoid. <laughs> a zoid. <laughs> Now. Mm -hmm. And 
then you have. I have a lovely ham and cheese crisp. Croissant toasted. Do you want to try? Oh, you have. And I have cappuccino frying. You already had that on your. And I have eggs Benedict, same with Kira. Mm -hmm. And Dad has a massive, massive uh, what's hot that? dog with a lot, I think. <laughs> the lot. With lot. Hot dog with a lot. So I don't remember when I last updated you, but we went to um we went to, for a drive in the hills with my parents and my sister and it was like a nice a nice um drive. I wish it wasn't as rainy though because some parts was good but then other times it rained and if it didn't rain we would have spent a lot more time out exploring hiking trails and all that but instead we were mainly in the car I think for most of it but yeah it was still a, it was a still a good good um drive I don't know why but now I like freak out when like people were going fast around corners so I was kind of freaking out from driving in the hills they weren't as you know bendy but I was still freaking out I don't know why because I know when my dad was driving even going around the corner I sometimes freak out like in the suburbs so I don't know what's going on there but yeah so yeah it was a good day I was meant to do some editing today but I kind of just stayed on my phone and kind of went into a loophole of yeah of languages of like because I really want to learn a language but I really want to learn an e a easy language but then I'm also wait maybe I should wait for my partner and because if my partner is a different culture I would love to learn her language so yeah I think I might wait for that but yeah so I think I'm going to head off to bed and I'll see you tomorrow Okay, I don't know, I think the lighting is very dark here, I apologize. I have the light on, but it's a very cloudy day. But I've been meaning to try this um, chopped banana smoothie on the back of this cereal um, box, the wheat bix box, which you actually use one wheat bix. So I'm assuming it's very similar to Up and Go, but it's one wheat bix, one ripe banana, um, cocoa powder, which I have down there, I haven't got it out yet, and then um, one, one cup like soy milk or whatever choice of your milk, and then one tablespoon of almond, and then you blend for two minutes. So I want to try that today, and yeah, I want to see if it's like similar to up and go. I'm, I'm assuming it's si similar to up and go. One. Banana, tablespoon, Honestly, I don't really like it, but it's definitely better than my first attempt. This, yeah, it kind of has a little bit of up-go taste, but it's a lot more thicker. I, I don't know why. Maybe I'm just not the biggest on chocolate milkshakes. No, I don't think I am. But yeah, this one came out a lot more better than um, my first attempt. <coughs> Meal prepping done. And... <coughs> Oh my god, I'm kind of out of breath because that took a very long time and I had to clean up all the mess I did and yeah, <laughs> oh my god, I'm like, yeah, now I feel really exhausted <laughs> so I definitely need to sit down now but this is all done so I don't have to worry about that anymore so meal prepping done. So I realized I never gave you an update of um, about how the car went with the mechanic, but it went oh it went actually pretty good. I actually didn't end up needing to take a week off of work or any day off of work, which is good because I didn't actually really want to because I just took a week before that happened off of work. But 
Anyway, so I booked in the mechanic for when uh, Monday, but then it was got a call and it said it was done on Wednesday, which is good. So that was only in there for two days, which was good. So I ended up borrowing my mum's car. Thank you so much, mum, for lending me your car to get um, to work on Monday and um, Tuesday. But on Wednesday, I could come home and um, use my own car. And now my own car is fixed. And yeah, it was the, I think, I forgot what he said, that the hose for the brakes or something the brake hose or whatever um snapped um yeah i think that's what he said <laughs> i'm not the best with cars but he's like that shouldn't really happen so he was like kind of confused of why it happened it's probably because i use the brakes a lot especially going to work there's a lot of traffic and a lot of people are stopping starting stopping starting so yeah, that's probably why I probably loosened the brake. So now I try not to use the brake too much unless I have to. And I try not to ride the brake because that's what I was also been doing, which was probably because my dad told me never ride the brake because that's damaged the brake. So that's probably what happened. So I try my best not to ride the brake. <laughs> But yeah, so that's been all sorted. That was actually pretty good. I was worried I wasn't going to have, um, I would have to borrow my mum car for um, the whole week. But no, I didn't. So that's good. And thank you mum for letting me stay over extra night. But yeah, so that's what happened with the car. The car's all fixed now. Yeah, so today I only really done two things, but it felt like a lot because I'd done some weeding out the front because my uh, front yard is was a mess. It still needs a lot of work, but I actually found another method is because I heard somewhere that said boiling hot water helps kill um, weeds and things you don't want, like the grasses that you don't want in the area. Um, and then my mum said about, um, she said something about like salting, like the ground that like, I don't know, like back in the old days, people used to salt the ground of farmers or something so their crops wouldn't grow properly. So now I'm combining what she said and what I learned online, which is the boiling hot water. So I have a bucket full of um, I boiled the kettle, I boiled the kettle two times, fill it up two times, put it in a mop bucket after it's been boil it, boiled. Well, first I put a generous amount of salt, like a big generous amount of salt in the salt bucket. Then I get the hot water, boiling hot water, and pour it one by one into the um, mop bucket to dis dissolve the salt so that it is a salt water. Then it's just normal table salt water. Apparently, I think they meant to use a different kind of, um, yeah, a different kind of salt. But I'm just using table salt, and it it actually works pretty good. I get the bucket, and then I throw it on wherever I need to, and yeah, now I have like a big patch of dead grass and dead weeds, which is good. I don't know how permanent it is but it seems to work so much better than the weed killers because the weed killers aren't permanent at all the, the weeds just come back but this seems to be a, a more permanent i don't know how long it lasts but it's been um a while and it's already it's still like dead i mean of course there's some little parts that are still growing back but nowhere near as much as it was so i'm going to continue doing that i wanted i actually wanted to try and do that one day every once every day but i kind of um didn't have time or just forgot about it so i want to try and do that again try and put the hot water boiling hot water on the weeds salt boiling hot salt water on the weeds every day so that eventually i will have no grass or no weeds in the spot because of the spot that is not meant to have the grass or weeds anyway <laughs> so yeah so but yeah i think that's working pretty good obviously don't put it with your actual plants that you want to keep because it will probably it will definitely kill your plants so just be in mind only put it on places that you don't want um the weeds and <laughs> the bee don't don't get it near your um plants or your garden or anything like that <laughs> 
but yeah also it probably is damaging the soil underneath the um underneath all the um plants and all that so yeah that's probably reason why it's probably killing because i heard that salt kills or damages the soil which is i know it sounds like a horrible thing but it's good to get rid of the weeds but yeah so that's pretty much that took a while actually it was i think it was very cloudy today but then it warmed up a bit so that took a while i pulled out a lot of um grass as well like the easy seed grass or bird seed grass i think it's called that one's easy to come out because you just grab it all as a bunch and it pulls out pretty easy some were a bit hard but pretty easy definitely not like the normal grass that's a lot harder to get out if you want to get that out but it's the bird seed grass you just pull it out so yeah i'm glad that pulls out easy so i have a bin full of weeds now and then as you know i done a huge meal prep um which took a long time and then the cleanup took long so yeah it's, i only pretty much done two things which was the weeding and the meal prep but that took pretty much all day and i did not want to do anything else after that so i ended up just sitting down and editing the video or just relaxing because it's just, just <laughs> it was just like r really resort resourcing exhausting <laughs> but yeah but now that's done I already done the last week vacuum and sweep the oh no I think I've done that Friday actually yeah I think I vacuumed and sweep Friday so that's I didn't need to worry about that um I did want to whip a snip and mow lawn but I think I'm gonna leave it for next week because I think it's more sunnier next week because the grass is still very wet today but yeah so I think that's all and i think this is going to be the end of the vlog so i really really hope you really like this vlog and i am currently filming another video that is food related i think i only have two more sessions or two two more clips to film of that and then that should be uploaded sometime um so yeah i'm still doing that but yeah so but for now on it will just be these weekend vlogs um I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm Atada Marie and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!